What's up everybody, Dan here from Headwaters Kayak. And behind me I have the Eddy Line Sky 10 and the new Caribbean 10. They're both lightweight, compact 10 foot boats that'll fit inside your SUV. And today I'm gonna help you decide what's right for you. Over the years, the Sky 10 has gotten a cult following. Because it's small, it's compact, it fits in a lot of SUVs. It's only 32 pounds, which makes it super easy to load and unload. And a lot of people just want that ease of use, that throwability of a small, compact, lightweight kayak, where you don't sacrifice a whole ton of paddling performance. So because of the success of the Sky 10, they decided to do a sit on top version, and that's the Caribbean 10. You've probably seen the Caribbean 12 or the Caribbean 14. That's been out for a few years. And finally, they came out with a Caribbean 10, which is a scaled down, simplified version. It's 10 foot long, 29 inches wide, and it comes in at a mere 40 pounds, which is pretty insane for a sit on top kayak. It has a front hatch. Up here, they went with a 10 inch round hatch, adjustable foot pedals, a little track spot. If you wanted to add a cup holder, or if you wanted to add a fishing pole mount, you could do that there. They use a clip and seat because it's lightweight, but still supportive. On each side, it's got click in carry handles. So the advantages to the sit on top is it's easy to get on and off of. You can just sit down, plop your butt in the seat, swing your legs over and away you go. The other thing is if water comes over the top, you've got these cover plugs throughout the boat. You've got two there in the cockpit, two more in the back behind the seat. So if water comes over, it just drains right out, really simple. Whereas the sit inside, if you get water inside this one or if you're to tip it over, you have water in the cockpit that you have to get out and then get into the boat from the water. So it can be a little more tricky. But the advantage to the sit inside is it's a little bit narrower, 29 inches wide on the sit on top versus the Sky 10, which comes in at 26 inches wide. So a little narrower, a little faster, a little more glide through the water. And you can see that too. You see how sharp the entry is on the Sky 10 versus the Caribbean 10 is a little bit wider, a little bit fatter. They're both designed for smaller paddlers. They're not gonna fit a huge paddler in either one of these boats in the, you know, 180 and under range. The Caribbean 10 will actually fit somebody up to about 210, but the leg length on it is pretty short. I would say, I don't know, five, nine or under would fit in this kayak. Definitely sit in it before you buy. And then on the Sky 10, also short leg length, but a little bit taller, but also a little bit lighter weight person would paddle this. A 220, I definitely sink this boat deep into the water. The other thing you'll notice between these two boats is how much higher the sit on top sits out of the water. That's why it's a little wider. You need that width to have the same stability with your higher center of gravity. Now, as we contrast that with the Sky 10, you'll notice how much lower you sit. And that's because in a sit inside, you're basically on the floor of the kayak. Your butt is under the water line, which gives you a lot of stability in a narrower craft. And that's why people like sit insides because they're zippier, they're faster, and you can connect to them a little bit better with your body because your knees are touching the deck. It's also worth pointing out the differences in the seat. On a sit on top, you have a higher back seat. Because your knees don't connect to the deck, you have a little bit more back support. Whereas in the sit inside, your knees are supporting you upright in the kayak, so the backrest can be a little shorter. So with sit insides, you'll always hear me talk about hatches and bulkheads. You should have one bulkhead behind the seat here and one bulkhead up here in the front. The reason for that is you want positive air buoyancy. So if this kayak flips over, it's gonna have tons of buoyancy, it's gonna sit nice and high in the water, and you can actually use a paddle float or a friend and get back into your craft. But obviously that's not the only reason to have hatches. Hatches are nice for dry storage. If you wanna bring a change of clothes, a towel, whatever, you can put those in dry bags and then stick them inside the hatches. And I say dry bags because kayaks have a way of getting moisture inside of them, and it's always smart. If you wanna dry, you should put it in a dry bag and then put it in your kayak. So even though we're comparing and contrasting these two boats, realistically, they're more similar than they are different. They're made out of the same material. They're geared for the same style of paddler, a small paddler that wants light, easy access to the water. It's just a matter of, do you like sitting inside? Do you wanna be protected? Do you wanna wear a skirt? Or do you like the easy access of the sit on top? Just jump on and go. Really, the choice is yours. So my takeaway on these two boats, the Sky 10, the Caribbean 10, they're both unique boats in the marketplace. There's not a lot of small, ultralight, well-built boats that paddle as nice as these ones do. They really do check all the boxes for somebody that's looking for that ultralight throw-and-go portable kayak. And like always, I encourage you to test them out. If you can find an Eddyline dealer that offers demos, 
It's great to be able to hop in boats, compare them side by side. If you can't hit the water, at least try to sit in them. If you go on eddyline.com, check out their dealer locator list. You can find dealers near you. If you need it shipped to you, Headwaters Adventure Company here in Reading ships these out. You can also find them on rei.com. So thanks so much for hanging out with us today. If you have any questions, do me a favor. Just leave those down below in the comment section and we'll get back to you right away. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. What do you think about the Caribbean 10? Uh, it's absolutely fabulous. It's so smooth and so easy. It glides so amazingly.